What's up everybody? This is Back 16. And this is our second podcast on lifestyle and wellness management. I am Jin Hao, your host for today. And we have our special guest. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, yes. Hi Jin Hao. My name is Isha. Hello. My name is Beatrice. And this will be our special guest for our topic on ketogenic diet. <laughs> for our first question, it will be what do you include in your normal meals? Will you mind starting first, Isha? No, I do not mind, you know. Um, so, um, on a daily basis, I, I like to ensure that I fill my, my macros. You know, as an, a student athlete, uh, I play um, football as well as ultimate frisbee. Um, as a student athlete, I ensure that I have fats, carbohydrates, as well as my um, proteins in my diet. So, uh, for, for breakfast, I usually eat um, cereal. So, that would be my carbohydrates. Um, for lunch, I eat like rice, chicken breast, and some veggies. So I have, you know, uh, all the uh, mi- micro as well as macronutrients. And then for, you know, in between, I'll sometimes have um, just um, regular snacks like waffles or sometimes even fruits just to fill my stomach. And then uh, when I get to dinner after a long day, I like to eat something filling. So usually carbohydrates, noodles, um, or sometimes I even eat rice again, like twice in a day. Uh, because I'm big, so I naturally need more calories. And the easiest way to gain calories would be to have a high amount of fats as well as carbohydrates in my diet. So rice and then um, any form of meat. And veggies, maybe not as much. And then I'll just uh, just get a drink, lah, basically. Yeah. I see. So it's actually very interesting to see that your entire day is actually filled with eating by itself. Yeah, filled with eating. Uh, because, also because... um. I don't know if you can tell, but I like to work out. I go to the gym. So to maintain or hopefully increase muscle mass, I have to constantly ensure that I'm um, um, giving fuel as fuel to my to myself as well as uh, maintaining muscle mass. I need high amounts of calories uh, to um, sort so of uh, replenish the muscle glycogen. Uh, so with that, obviously, I need high amount of carbs as well as proteins. Also for uh, muscle maintenance as well as muscle and, uh, development. Yeah. Alright, so it's very entertaining to hear about what uh, Isha has put through today and definitely very inspiring for us uh, athletes as well. And now next, I'll be moving on to Beatrice who will be answering the next question. Alright, so now let's hear on what Beatrice had to say about her meal preparations. Beatrice? Okay, so just like Isha, I'm an athlete. Uh, I do judo, you know. So, uh, honestly, not gonna lie, my... What, what my choices in my meals are like, not as strict as Isha, basically. I just eat what I want, what I feel like eating throughout the day. <laughs> okay, but uh, usually like on normal days, I don't really eat breakfast because I tend to wake up late. Uh, I just tend to sleep through. But these days, coming to school and all, I tend to eat my breakfast. So probably just some milk, cereal or sandwich, simple, simple, simple breakfast are... Uh. Then uh, for lunch, I will eat what I feel like eating. So basically, like mala, western, <laughs> Japanese food, and like a lot of desserts. Uh, yeah, I like to eat desserts a lot as well. So like, I tend to incorporate it into every meal. Like, I will eat like uh, cakes, ice cream after every meal. So <clears throat> despite being an athlete, I'm not as strict on my diet as Ishak lah, but... Uh, during competition season where I have to like cut my weight because uh, for judo you have to meet a minimum weight requirement so uh, I will by then I will watch what I want to eat more and then uh, tend to cut down on those desserts and all and eat healthier la. yeah for dinner I also try to eat whole meals like Isha so basically a mix of uh, vegetables carbs proteins and all to so make me feel full. I feel like my daily nutrition and all, you know. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what my meal, my meal choices are in my day to day life. Um. <clears throat> okay. Let's so let's hear a little bit more of uh, when is it exactly is the period that you actually start to change your dieting. Okay. So when I start to change up my dieting is during competition season. Basically, it's more on like uh around March. So March judo, we have a competition ITC. If not, uh, we will do it during uh, around November-ish. So 
I will try to start like uh, one or two months to watch what I, uh, before the competition, like watch what I eat before. Uh, so that I can get the to the weight requirement uh, that I need to be in order to like participate or do the competition. Yeah. Right, so now we have learned more about the shark and B trees, uh, and how they actually prepare their meals. Unfortunately, the world is very unfair, because as we see, this guy has been eating, and now he's very big size. <laughs> this one as well, he's been eating uh, extremely unhealthy meals, but as <clears throat> it's still quite uh, very f- looks very f- looks very fit and in, in thin. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, let's move on to the next question. So now let's move on to the next question. Would you all like to? Uh, explain yourselves and how your experiences on dieting is. Um, <clears throat> I would say dieting um, is like uh, something that um, works on both ends of the spectrum. It can either be very enjoyable or very, very depressing. So um, my experience with dieting is that, um, you know, I mean, as a big guy and someone who eats a lot, uh, sometimes I tend to go overboard before I eat. And I mean, yeah, just now I said that, you know, I, I try my best to incorporate like uh, whole meals like, you know, rice and chicken breast and vegetables. But like between as well, I have my own, um, I have my own sinful cravings. So I also enjoy desserts. Like I have a very, I have a very sweet tooth. So I tend to enjoy cakes, ice cream, etc, etc. But um, so, but then there's always come a, a point where I realize where that um, you know, I'm going overboard, and I feel that I need to cut back on my diet as well. Of course, I realize in my physique and also how I feel. Sometimes you know, you tend to start feeling lethargic, so um, that's where I start um dieting. So that's where I incorporate diets like um intermittent fasting and even a ketogenic diet, uh, which are some it's some it's a diet that I learned from my parents lah. So they they tried it, and then you know, at first I was skeptical because you know I realized that they weren't eating carbs and stuff like that. And someone who's um from especially from the sports um from the sports um course, I, I understand the, the the importance of having uh a bit of everything in your in your diet. So when they take on a ketogenic diet, which we will uh which we will go into deeper later, we realize that uh, there won't be much carbs. So I was skeptical at first, but after that I decided to take on a ketogenic diet when I when I feel like I need to cut back on my um meals and also to ensure to uh, sort of for body recomposition yeah do you want to uh help us to analyze you know you said that uh ketogenic diet actually had lesser carbs right but how is it that you're able to maintain so you said sorry the ketogenic diet what you said ketogenic ketogenic diet had lesser carbs right has what lesser carbs lesser carbs or oh, lesser carbs yes sorry i heard hiccups my bit. okay uh yeah, so basically the basic um the basic the basis of ketogenic diet is um um when your your body is has little to no carbs left whatsoever. So carbs being simple and complex, so no sugar or no complex carbs like bread, um rice and stuff like that. So uh uh if you want me should I go deeper into what ketogenic diet is? Um uh. We can we can explain that later, but mm-hmm. I just we just want to hear yeah. So how you maintain. Uh, as I said, uh, how I maintain keto. So at first, when I the very first time I started, obviously when you first do everything, it's like it's very it's very very hard. Um, uh, for me, I think that when it comes to like losing weight and like maintaining your body stuff like that, right? Um, dieting is way harder than you know having the exercise and stuff like that because it's a lot of uh, uh it's a lot of uh, it's more of a mental challenge. So uh, like when you you ask me that. How I maintain is, uh, I think that after doing it for a while and then you start seeing results, right? Uh, you feel more driven and uh, more, especially when you start seeing results which are drastic, um, as, which is something that is very common in keto because uh, it, it, it has um, uh, exemplary results in a short period of time. Although that can be um, not so good in the long term, right? When you see short term results, you start wanting to, you start wanting more and then that's where you start um being more disciplined and uh, making sure that you keep to the keep to the program and then that, that's how I maintain it. La. So I'm driven by um short term goals and um short term sort of changes. Yeah. So after speaking to Ishak, we definitely had known that dieting has helped him very much in the short term and definitely has elevated his uh athleticism and how his performance has ever been. So now we shall move on to Beatrice, who will be answering our questions. Okay, now 
uh, for asking for Beatrice, have you ever tried dieting before? Thank you, Jinhao. So, uh, I have, but it only started like recently. I only diet once in my life, not gonna lie. Because in secondary school, uh, I was playing another sport, it's volleyball, but we have training like uh, about four times a week. So, and then for volleyball, we don't have any weight limit or anything. So, I have never like attempted to diet or anything during that part of time. Only when I came to poly, when I joined judo, then when I realized that there's a weight category, uh, then I started to diet for my first competition. Uh. So at a point of time for that competition, I was playing the under 48 category, but my weight was around... 48 years old or? 48 <laughs> kg oh, yeah. category. But my... My weight had, my weight was about fifty kg at the point of time. So oh, heavy, uh, yeah. wow, thanks Isha. <laughs> I'm heavier now. <laughs> but then uh yeah, I just tried to lose the weight so that I have to lose the weight, lah. It's not tried. I have to lose the weight in order to participate for the competition. So uh I did a little bit of dieting here and there. Basically a little bit of everything because being very free spirited and whatsoever plus my first time dieting so I just did a little bit of some dieting here some dieting there so basically like in my meals I eat like smaller portion uh, I also eat lesser carbs so basically like a low carb diet then I also went on like intermediate fasting so intermittent intermittent fasting intermediate is level so you work class <laughs> <laughs> intermittent <laughs> fasting so basically uh, I eat at like for a certain hour number of hours in a day and then afterwards I stopped eating. So that has helped me la, to lose my to lose weight and then I was able to participate in a competition by weighing about around 40 48.1. Wow, what is clutch? Yeah, so um all the, my dieting experience is not as like as experienced as Isha because uh coming from a Chinese family as well, uh well, my parents are not very like open to diet or like when you say you want to diet they go like what for you need to diet you know that kind of thing yeah. so you know it's not like Ishak's family is like hey, whoa, no, no, <laughs> no, no, let no, me no, diet no, no. okay it's because you're Chinese <laughs> hey whoa, whoa. I didn't say anything <laughs> so uh, yeah, I understand. definitely in the future after this COVID uh, or yeah after this COVID period probably I'll have to start dieting again because my weight has shot up a lot during the COVID or circuit breaker. So I have to start to diet again uh, for my upcoming competition and I hope to do it like better, la. maybe with a more standard uh, regimen or routine. So maybe I will look for Isha for it, maybe yeah. he yeah. can help I'm me. I'm always here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's so far my experience with dieting. Uh. I can sign my free meal meal plan on www.ishap.getasexybot.com <laughs> Oh, check that out, Isha. <laughs> no, let's keep it. It's a film website, guys. Do check it out. Um, which is so do you want to explain um, why do you prefer to go to the lower regimen of your weight? Uh, because as a girl, I'd rather lose weight than gain weight because the next category after 48 kg is 52. And then at a point of time, I think I was pretty confident that I was able to lose the weight. So, I mean, which I did lah. So, I decided to, uh, I prefer to like, you know, uh, do a bit of diet to lose weight instead of gain weight. Because uh, I also heard, not sure if it's true, but that it's harder to gain weight compared to lose weight. No, I disagree with you, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> we got different. We are different, yeah, Isha. Do it different. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, this, this is about my experience and why I chose to lose or choose the lower category instead of the higher one. La. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, we definitely been... <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been very inspiring <laughs> to hear from uh, both athletes. One being a power power athlete who works in gym, and another one being a martial athlete. Also power, what? Oh, I need a lot of strength, bro. Also power and martial, bro. <laughs> Ip man. <laughs> okay. Oh, <Tony. laughs> nice hearing from both power athletes. Then, <laughs> would you like to move on to the next question? Thank you. So next for Ishak, mm. based on your experiences. 
what is ketogenic diet? Okay, so um, from the research that I've done, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. So from the research that I've done and also my experience with keto itself, uh, so the ketogenic diet is basically like um, the depletion of carbohydrates in your body, both simple and complex. So by by doing so, I mean, by doing so, all you have to do is um, uh, completely remove carbohydrates from your from your diet. So uh, stop all sugary drinks, all bread, rice, uh, anything that has any form of carbohydrates. I mean, everything has carbs, but uh, anything that whereby carbohydrates is the main uh, nutrient within like the food itself. And then by doing so, your body will naturally um, consume carbohydrates that's already stored in your body, right? And then once the, the carbohydrates in your body is depleted, your liver will go into, uh, your body will go into survival mode and your liver will start producing ketones. So ketones are sort of like these minerals within your body. Uh, and then you will be naturally undergo ketosis. So ketosis is the process whereby once there's no carbohydrate stored st- in your body, right? Um, your body will naturally burn the f- existing fat within your body uh, as form of um, fuel for like for di- like day-to-day basis. So not just like um, not not just for your internal organs to function, but also anything you do like walking, running, that's everything you do on your daily basis. So you're basically burning fat to survive. So this is why uh, people, especially those who are like overweight or, or want to lose weight in, in general, they will undergo, they will try and do keto because um, it's a sort of a quick fix. Because your body re- uh, your body relies on carbs so much that once it's gone, it will, uh, very quickly, it will go to find any um, existing um for like energy source la. so the next best thing would be your would be your fats so so once you when you start burning fats every day naturally i mean yeah your your fats percentage your fat percentage in your body will go down so yeah that's basically what keto um ketogenic diet is yeah has there been any time that ketogenic diet dieting has ever been a big progress for you big progress big progress yeah. big progress um yeah can i have the mic yes you can yeah, yeah so um Every time I do keto, there's big progress. So um, when you ask um, professional athletes or like dietitians or nutritionists or anybody who has experience or knowledge in um, dieting or what's good for your body, they'll tell you that um, losing weight, losing a large amount of weight in a short period of time, it's not good, uh, which is something I understand. But um, for keto itself, uh, every time I do keto, I usually... When I started out, I only did it like in one month interval. So I'll be one month on, one month off, one month on, one month off. And then within a month, I can lose up to 10, uh, 9, sometimes even 10 kilograms in one month. Yeah, that's how effective ketogenic is. I'm shaking, <laughs> that, bro. <laughs> that's how effective keto is. Uh, it's very effective. So uh, you can, especially if you're very strict on it and you try and you really um, stick to the regimen of not consuming carbs. I mean, it's inevitable that you consume small amounts of carbs, but then for keto to be fully effective, right, you... Uh, you your daily carb intake should only range from about 20 grams to 50 grams. Maximum is 50. But because everybody's body is different, right? Some people uh, can get away with having more carbs in their body or some people can get away with, with less. So for me itself, uh, I've tried going beyond 20 and I mean, it still worked for me. So uh, yeah, that's, so basically every time I do keto, there's big progress. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 Ishak. Does that mean no carbs at all? Um, no. Like, um, like I said, uh, in, it's inevitable that you uh, consume carbs because everything has carbs, fats, and protein. I mean, some like some uh, basic sources like eggs and stuff like that. You know, it's purely protein, purely fats, purely carbs. But then, um, like let's say, like I mean, especially in modern times, we eat different dishes, right? To so, I mean, to get by. So you definitely con- consume carbs one way or another. So ketogenic diet is not no carbs. Ketogenic diet is little to almost none. Yeah, yeah. So that's what ketogenic diet is. So now that we have heard more on, uh, Ishak turning from fat so to muscle muscle head, right right here. So now we will move on to asking Beatrice our next question. So now Beatrice, would like to explain to us what are the benefits of having ketogenic diet. Oh, damn. oh, oh no, she's no. a magician. She can do judo, play volleyball, bro. Give your girl like what well, she's taken. Uh. Oh, You're shucks. <laughs> okay, so uh, unlike Ishak, I don't have any uh experience 
So mine is purely, purely based on research only, like what are the benefits of ketogenic diet. So uh, like Isha has mentioned uh, a lot of stuff about ketogenic diet. Basically, the main purpose of ketogenic diet is usually to lose weight. Am yeah. I right? <laughs> then, okay, but I also heard that or researched on that uh, ketogenic diet is very good for uh, those uh, people with diabetic because actually carbohydrates, when you intake carbohydrate, there's... Uh, carbohydrate is a form of like so-called sugar yeah. or glucose. Uh. Yeah, so basically in the body, they will transform into sugar or glucose. So when you go through ketogenic diet, you intake lesser of those like carbs. So it will be lesser sugar, lesser glucose. Therefore, um, it's better for those people with diabetic. Uh. It can also help like uh, neuro neurological diseases such as uh, uh, epilepsy. Yeah, so because... Uh, it's shown that uh, it can help to reduce a uh, seizure in uh, epileptic children. And then as well as uh, it can have uh, ketogenic diets also have like health benefits such as uh, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, uh, Parkinson's disease, and uh, brain injuries. Yeah, so basically these are the benefits of uh, ketogenic diet. diet. Oh, cancer. <laughs> there are a lot of benefits from ketogenic diet, yeah, right? So, Beatrice, have you ever tried anything close to what you have stated about ketogenic diet? Hmm, I think not really because I only diet once in my entire life so far. But I think I think I think yes, right? Because you now you said yeah, it's it's a lower carb, lower carb diet, diet, but it's not so much on the keto side. Yeah, it's quite close, yeah, right? it's closer. Maybe right? you decrease your carb a bit more. I I decrease like a bit more. So let's say if like let's say I eat one bowl of rice, I decrease to half a bowl of rice. Yeah. You know. So I decreased the portion. Uh, so maybe it's a bit, a mix of a few different diets, yeah. but not so much as well, uh, I feel. Yeah. But I think soon uh, I will go, I will need to do some keto diet. Maybe not as long as Isha, because <laughs> if I lose like 10 or 9 kg, I think I'm going to be underweight. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm just going to do it for like a little while to lose yeah, that. I can transfer, I transfer, you some, transfer you some weight. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of weight that I gain over the circuit breaker period, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's all about the benefits of a ketogenic diet. So now that we have heard uh, quite a number of things from two athletes who have definitely tried dieting, so now we will move on to the next question. So Rishak, would you mind telling us what do you think are the positives about ketogenic diet? Positives? Hmm, like I said, quick fix, um, weight loss, um, body fat percentage go down. So I mean that's I mean that's a standard uh, But uh, like personally, my my own experience, how I feel with keto is that yes, it's true. Uh, when you first start keto, it'll be very 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 hard. Um, when, especially when you're not used to when you're so used to consuming carbs every day, because carbs play such a big part in our life that once it's gone, right, you can really feel the effect. It hits you very hard. So you feel super lethargic, tired. You won't have. You'll be very moody. But once you under, start uh, undergoing ketosis and your body is uh, becomes accustomed to the entire process or a, a entire um, procedure of not consuming carbs, right? Uh, you start to realize that you, you feel way more energetic. Uh, you, feel, you, you tend to be able to be more focused on stuff. Like when I first started keto or even like the subsequent times that I did keto, right? Um, I realized that especially when I go to the gym and stuff, uh, I have way better like um, workouts so even though i have no carbs um i realized that i can i'm more focused i have more sort of um my muscle connection so i'm more into the workout and i get a lot more out of it uh than when i'm like out of keto uh, but that's just me personally i don't know i mean i think it ranges from person to person so that's one thing a lot more focus and um i think higher productivity in general i find it easier to wake up in the morning as compared to when i eat carbs um, especially because sugar, right? You if you have too much sugar, you tend to get lethargic a lot. But with keto, I feel way more active, and yeah, like just more productive in general. Right. So definitely, I've heard a lot of positives from Isha. But will you mind telling us, um, in what ways have it elevated your performance? Elevated my performance. So like I said, the positive is that when uh yeah, I feel a lot more focused, right? So when I'm more focused, I'm able to do more. So uh, let's say, um, especially like for for the gym gym wise, um, I feel a lot. I feel some. I feel somewhat stronger in a sense. Uh, I've been able to move more weight, and um, I feel that 
Okay, so I mean, one downside is that because I have not, not enough carbs, so my, my my muscle like glycogen is depleted, right? So uh, when you work out, you uh, there's this thing called pump. So uh, your, your your muscle will, will get um the blood when the blood um enters your muscle, right? You get like you get pump, so you get bigger than usual. So one thing is that uh, I when I'm on keto, I find it harder to maintain my pump because of the lack of muscle like glycogen. But um, as I said, I can move more weight and um. I feel like I stay in the gym longer because I want to do more as compared to when I'm off keto and I just want to get it done and get out of the gym. Yeah. So you've definitely known that it's actually increased Shark's performance and how he's been focusing uh, in the gym and definitely knew that it's actually been working out for Ishak. Yeah. So now we will ask the next question to Beatrice. Okay, so now let's, let's hear from Beatrice about what does she thinks are a negative part of a ketogenic diet. Okay, so like based on my research on the ketogenic diet, there are some like cons to it other than the pros that Ishak have mentioned. So like what Ishak have experienced, there's actually this thing called the keto flu. Yeah. Yeah, if you know about it, like like basically what Ishak said at the start of the keto when your body is not adapted to a uh, keto diet, so what keto there are some uh symptoms of the keto flu will be like poor energy, mental yeah. mental function, increased hunger, yeah. uh sleep issues, nausea and digestive discomfort, decreased exercise performance. That's why in order to like lower the risk of these symptoms, maybe if you're not so like adapted to keto or uh such, you can maybe try like a low carb diet first, you know, yeah. to help your body get used to it and then afterwards then go to a keto diet so you won't have to like experience or uh, also that your body can adapt more to the, the keto diet that you are going to go through. Lah. And then uh other than that, doing keto in long term is also not very good for the body because uh it can cause like low protein in the blood, extra fat in the liver kidney stones and also like micronutrient deficiencies so uh, I think like Ishak said it's good to do like keto like maybe like in different periods like you say you do it like uh once a month like yeah. you stagger right yeah. so yeah it's not good to do it in the long run but uh overall uh keto is a keto diet or a ketogenic diet is actually uh good or okay for like most or healthy people, uh, majority of the people to do lah, yeah, because there are a lot of pros. So, the cons are only if you do it for long term or if your body is not adapted to it. So, it's good to find ways or search up on how you can maybe adapt or uh, like based on your own preference lah, how you want to adapt to it before you like go straight into keto diet or, or yeah. Or maybe like consult a professional and then see. Ask them to do assess more you and see what's best, lah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like you can consult each other lah, like at ww.ishak. I'm a consultant.com. <laughs> yes. This is my other website. <laughs> I have quite a few. So do look him up, man. <laughs> so please seek help. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh Beatrice, have you ever felt such of these negative effects, even though you are on the the much lower carbo diet? Honestly, I don't really know if <laughs> I am feeling the effect or it's just me myself because honestly I feel like normally or day to day I'm just like a very lazy uh, person I just like to sleep in do my shit but then like let's say if those like a uh, higher reason like oh being constipated and all I think not so much Yeah. I think I'm still pretty healthy in general or but yeah I'm just really tired most of the days I don't know why but Mm, I don't think I've ever like faced or encountered these kind of symptoms lah. But when I try the keto diet, I see how ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if not, I, I also do low carb first, then I do keto. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about it. Then, yeah, constipation is one of the major like Im- like effects that you will feel like, You got? Yeah, I've got to constipated a lot of time because um, actually during keto when you don't have like carbohydrates or like fruits, right? Your that your overall dietary fiber is like. So like a lot lower than usual because you don't have carbs and carbs dietary fiber comes from carbs so uh, my suggestion or my advice uh would be that when you're undergoing keto ensure to drink lots of water so you can lubricate your um digestive system and also to uh eat vegetables aplenty so okay not all vegetables green veg- green leafy vegetables especially spinach um broccoli <laughs> yeah like for five so spinach 
uh, broccoli and so on and so forth so so that you have you get the dietary fiber that you need to uh to go to like i mean to, to do your business in the toilet uh, because that's also uh, like your that's to ensure that you have a healthy digestive system as well yeah you don't jeopardize your or neglect your digestive systems while doing keto yeah that's my advice i know i know you never asked lah, but <laughs> so definitely i've known that uh how ishak has definitely paid rent to be in the <laughs> toilet yeah. Yeah. So while we're on the topic of uh, advice, will you still have more uh, advices, Beatrice? Mm, I'm being. I'm not a professional, but as I said before, I think just a very few normal advices is just stick to your personal preference, uh, Because everybody's body works differently, so mm. the advices I give might not work for you, but might work for some other people. So it's good to find out uh what is most preferred for you, uh before like comparing your own diet or following somebody else uh diet regimen uh, or schedule yep so it's uh definitely here that uh our athletes have definitely given advices and uh next you like you like to hear from them uh whether they would recommend uh ketogenic diet itself so now let's hear whether uh our athletes would actually recommend ketogenic diet Shut please Thank you. Um, as we actually said before, um, all our bodies work way differently. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, I lost 10 kg like in a month, but that might not necessarily mean they work for it. Like, let's say Chin Hao or Beatrice. Might be more effective for them or might be less effective for them. That just depends on how their body like reacts and adapts to like the diet. So, uh, in terms of, would I, would I advise if someone else to try it, definitely. Especially if you're looking for, like, if you, if you, let's say you have an event or an event that you want to go to and then you're trying to get into a suit that you want to wear, keto is one of the, like, I think that's the best, one of the best ways to lose weight for that, for that, for that event. But let's say you're looking for long-term goals, like, as, again, like Beatrice said, it's not good for you long-term, one thing. And second thing is that it's not easy to maintain. After a while, uh, it just gets like sort of like mentally becomes a mental challenge more than physical. So, uh, you start you definitely temptations might not be like as, uh, like you know hard to. So at first, my temptations may be easy to just like just ward off or like forget. But naturally, as human beings, temptations will eventually come in and they'll come in stronger and like tenfold. They will they will so it'll be harder to maintain. So, uh, my 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 advice would be yes, I recommend keto. It just depends on what your goals or objectives are for at that period of time when you when you want to start sort of start keto. So know what you want to achieve, and then if it's feasible, yes, carry on with keto. But if it's not, don't do that to yourself. That's my objective, and that's my advice. Yeah. So now we definitely heard about uh, Ishak, who had definitely had a strong mind, and really uh, have a good aim and progress to his objective. So now let's Thank hear you. about uh, what Beatrice have to say about her recommendations. Okay, so uh, for me, uh, I I think it depends, like, honestly. Keto is a good way to diet, but I feel that uh, if let's say you're not somebody that have to lose like a, like a, a lot of weight, you can try out other diet options because they might be healthier and overall for your body. And because different diets, they have different effects as well. So... You have to find the diet, uh, the diet plan that suits you the most, uh, or suits more towards your goals. So, if let's say you are looking to lose like a uh, a lot of weight, definitely I would recommend keto diet. But if not, you just want to maintain a healthy weight and so on and so forth. Probably you can try other diets, uh, because there are so many diets that are possible for you to do and all. Yeah. So that's my take on whether I would recommend keto diet. So now that's uh from our from Beatrice, which is a judo martial artist who definitely have also a fair share of experience in dieting. So now let's hear from our final question. So now Ishak, for our final question, what are your inspirations on how you actually dieted itself? Okay, so um I want to give you the cringe answer and say that my inspiration is myself, but um that's obviously not true. I obviously had to find out about keto or learn keto from someone. So my own, um, in my own experience, my my inspirations, quote unquote inspirations, are my parents. 
So um, my dad himself is also an athlete. Uh, he plays football as well. Um, so he is also my he is also very um sort of uh, active in for, in form of like exercise and like dieting and stuff like that. So um he started keto like um how about what three four years ago the first time he started like doing keto, and then um he, I I started to realize that he was like losing weight quite quickly, um and then I was like. And then also, I mean, obviously, I, I noticed when we eat dinner and stuff like that, my dad's not eating carbohydrates and stuff like that. So, I mean, one day I asked him, like, why, why are you doing this? And then he's like, so, you know, he sort of explained to me the basis of keto itself, as like, I explained just now. And then at first, I was very skeptical. I was like, huh, why would you do that? Like, why would you forego or give up all these, like, amazing foods, like sweets, cakes, ice cream and stuff like that? Just, you know, it's for, at, at that point of time, it didn't make sense. But then, after a while, I started noticing my dad's progress. And also, as I grew older, I mean, obviously, I, I mature, right? And then, um, I start to realize, like, you know, actually, this is this this would be good for me to try out. So I think the first ever time I started doing keto was when I was uh uh second like I just graduated from secondary school, like before poly, and like uh actually no, before I graduated, I already started doing keto. So like during my O levels period, I started doing keto, and then I started losing a lot of weight. So. Uh, that's when my keto journey started and it was inspired by my dad and kind of my mom because she like prepared the meals for my dad and then so she also tried so I was like you know I'll just give credit to both of them yeah so definitely love you parents <laughs> so definitely is very inspiring to hear what uh, Ishak has for us he's he's actually one of those uh, gorilla in the attack of the apes anyways plan of, plan of the apes plan of the apes uh, anyway <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> so now let's hear from what Beatrice have to hear. Uh, what Beatrice have to say about uh, her inspirations to dieting. So uh, my inspirations to dieting, I will give you the cringe answer. I like Isha. <laughs> I will say it's myself. <laughs> but that's the truth. Uh, honestly, I feel because nobody forced me to diet or anything, and like I say coming from a. Like Chinese family, strict Chinese family, they don't like really encourage or promote <laughs> dieting to you. So, uh, and plus at that point of time, having a competition, uh, and having to needing to meet like the weight requirement, therefore it made me like more motivated uh, to or more inspired to like you know go for a diet because I really wanted to participate in the competition because it's my first competition, like as a judo judo player la. <clears throat> So. I would say I, uh, only me myself can motivate myself or inspire myself to, like so called go on a diet or anything because, uh, without my own motivation or uh, how to say, mental thinking uh, on uh what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done you know, uh really affected like uh what I can do on the diet or what I should do you know so like. Without myself, if I give up easily, I you know definitely wouldn't be able to participate in the competition. Being not able to meet the weight requirement, but I guess with the help of myself, uh, my the choices that I put in my meals and all during that point of time helped me a lot. Uh, on my dieting, uh. yeah. So a lot of uh, intrinsic motivation. Yeah, of course, intrinsic motivation. Like yeah. I say, it's not cringe answer. Please <laughs> yourself. Yeah, mine is more of extrinsic. Yeah. <laughs> so we are really thankful to have our special guests Ishak and Beatrice here today. And we are really thankful that you are able to allow this podcast to be very informative for all. Now stay tuned for our next podcast. Thank you. <laughs>